You're watching Explore Tulsa. I import wines that I want to share with people that live in Oklahoma that we don't have here and I think, oh, we need to, we need to try this. My family from Oklahoma are originally farmers and I had never had an interest in farming. But because I started drinking wine, you know, going out to dinner, uh, once I took a trip with my husband out to Napa, Sonoma, we both fell in love with those wines and then learning more about the farming just became strangely intriguing to me. Well, it's kind of funny because I never intended to do this, but I started working and selling wine 14 years ago and just became more and more interested in it. But then I decided, you know, there's a lot of boys in, in Tulsa specifically that are certified Psalms. And I said, well, if they can do that, I'm gonna do that. And then I decided, well, there's no distributors here that I think are really more focused on family-owned brands. And I was just complaining about the whole thing and someone said, well, why don't you do something about it? I think the thing that excited her is she finally found her thing. Um, you know, the career that really made her happy because she got to do what she wanted to do for the first time. And so that made me excited and made me excited to maybe do the same thing, you know, in the future. I hired Erin originally and she's another certified sommelier female in the state. Sommelier is an expert in wine, not only at knowledge of wine, but actually be able to communicate to the guest and find what they like, what they're looking for, and execute the service that goes with that. Well, in the beginning when we just had five brands, I was overwhelmed with that, and now that we have over like 40, it's just insane how fast we've grown. Wine is such a personal, um, passion. So for everyone it's very different. I mean it's just like a favorite food. I think um, in general when you're talking about wine it's finding out what that person really enjoys and it's different for everyone. It's very subjective. I think talking about it to people it's finding what they enjoy, what um, what they want to use it for, whether they're just having fun or whether they're a connoisseur or whether they want to just pair it with their favorite food. And so it's finding that and finding the perfect wine for that because there's a perfect wine for everything. The reason that I think it's so popular is I think that the new gener the millennials have um, something to do with it as well. I like to say they're a fickle consumer. They like to try new and interesting things. I'm not a millennial and I do as well. But I think it's the direction that we're going. But also, if you've noticed with all the cooking shows that are on TV now, Wine just falls right in line with food. I think there's a big chef-driven restaurants movement that's going on in this country now. So uh, wine is really good for food pairing. Um, that's definitely, um, I think, what the intent of wine is. So, you know, for pleasure and enjoyment is really what you should be drinking wine for. I don't think um, there are benefits, you know, there's red wine benefits, there's um, definitely lower calorie compared to a lot of cocktails that are out there, but you know, I think if you're drinking wine, it should be about the moment, it should be about what's in that bottle. It's a story, it's a moment in time, and I don't really think uh, it's the time to worry about health or calories. Well, I always tell people the best wine is the wine that you like to drink. So I don't get caught up in oh, I think this wine is better than this wine. Everyone has their own taste, just like whether you want to drink Dr. Pepper or Coke. I mean, it just it's whatever fits, fits your taste. Well, it's really exciting just to, like how they said, to be able to go out in the restaurants and see our brands, you know, on the list and feel like, you know, oh, okay, this was us. We made this happen.